When Admiral Yamamoto was killed in a shootdown over the Solomon Islands, he had been operating under the assumption that he was beyond the range of American fighters. The first time I presented this, I got the events out of order. First, Yamamoto was surprised and killed by the range of our P-38G, then Pacific Forces received the even longer range P-38J, then Charles Lindbergh showed up. We had Charles Lindbergh teaching our pilots how to conserve fuel. The extended range P-38J that was being used in the Pacific was typically used for a maximum of a six and a half hour patrol. Sometimes they could be pushed to seven hours if it very much required, but when Lindbergh landed after performing his first six and a half hour flight in the craft, it was noted that he had over 200 pounds of fuel remaining. During the next combat mission, after the squadron had been ordered home due to lack of fuel, Lindbergh received special dispensation to extend his mission. The one aircraft that remained with him returned with 70 gallons of fuel in the tank, while Lindbergh landed with 260. After this mission, Lindbergh held an informal lecture with the squadron's pilots. He explained the cruise control techniques that he had developed for the aircraft that involved lowering the RPM and altering the fuel mixture. With a 20-minute explanation, the range of the P-38J was extended from 6.5 hours to 9. Now, the pilots didn't relish this. The P-38J was not a comfortable craft. After the first eight-hour test flight, the pilot had to be assisted from the cockpit because he was so cramped, but this 30% range extension became invaluable for reconnaissance later in the war. 